Okay, took a little bit of doing, but figured out the uh, USB stuff and the full screen. So, again, go to, uh, make sure on your users and groups, go into manage groups, and go here, properties, and make sure you're checked off as being authorized user, okay? After you do that, very important that I didn't realize, and I was fighting with for a long time, was uh, you need to actually shut down your machine and restart it and make sure that this is all still checked and everything. Um, for whatever reason, for me anyway, since I wasn't shutting my machine down, it wasn't taking effect. So it doesn't take effect until after you shut your machine down, it looks like. Okay, so cancel. Make sure it's still checked off. Alright, so... Okay. So that's the first thing you need to make sure you do. Now, in, uh, we'll go to VirtualBox here. Just open that in a new tab. And we'll go to Downloads. And where that extension pack was, we're going to go here to the uh, user manual thing here. Okay. And then we're going to go to this section here, the USB settings. And then from here, here's where another thing we have to do, okay? We have, um, starts talking about how you need this this code here see can you read this you're looking for a uh, this code here and that's your USB codes and stuff um, so basically uh, see yes 046 D and then colon C 016 you need that and then So the way you get that is by, if you're on Windows, you'll take this command right here and copy that. And I don't have Windows open right now, so we'll do Linux first. And if you're on Linux, you'll take this one here. It's uh, LS USB, and you'll do that in the command, okay? So we'll do that right away. Go to a terminal and we'll type in LS USB and have your USB stuff that you want to use plugged in already and then hit enter and it gives you all these numbers you see just like we were talking about. Now I have one USB flash drive plugged in and it's a Lexar here. Okay, So this is the code. So you'll actually copy this code copy that and then you'll go and you'll open up uh, your virtual box and then you'll be here on XP do I already have this open somewhere I'm thinking I do it's probably right here I have it open. So we can just show uh, um, Windows first. Okay, so here, okay, here, we'll go with full screen. Figured out the full screen too, by the way, but I'll show you that after the USBs. Okay, so go to your start and go to your command prompt. Okay, uh, you can get your command prompt by, I think, going into programs, accessories, and then command prompt. Okay. And then you will paste in that code, and you can't do a control V, you'll have to do a paste. Uh, right click and paste. Um, oops. You were supposed to grab that other code anyway, by the way. <laughs> it won't work for me anyway because it's uh, I'm in VirtualBox, not running VirtualBox in Windows. So Anyway, you'll put type that code in, and you'll see those same type of things there. 
okay, that we saw with the Linux one. Okay, so we need to get out of this. And we need to get back to our virtual box. Uh, let's go control F. There we go. We need to exit out of this machine actually. Alright, so we'll turn this off. Turn off. Okay. When you have your virtual machine highlighted, then you'll go into your settings. And USB ports. And then these here filters. Okay. So you can add a new one by going like clicking on this, I think. Yeah, that'll add a new one. And then you can change the properties on that by clicking on this yellow circled one here. Okay? And you'll change that and then you'll enter in those numbers. Okay? So we'll go control V. And of course I can't paste them right now. Um paste. That didn't work. Anyway, so save those numbers and write them in there. Uh cancel this and it will look like this here then and we'll go like this and what you do is you'll type in whatever reference you want so I'm putting that it's a Lexar and it's uh, so that way I'll know that it's my flash drive that vendor ID and then the product ID will go here and then you'll just click OK okay and you add that I think by clicking on this or something and you can move it up and down by clicking on like this one here and move it down and move it up. I don't know if, if it matters or not. Okay, so I just have it on the top layer there. And that's how you set your USB devices and then after that I guess you would click uh, OK. Okay, so now I'll take out my flash drive and I'll start the machine back up. screen on this. Okay. Now we can test it out by plugging in the USB. I just plugged my flash drive in and we, there it is. It's recognized now. And that's how you get your USBs working. Okay. And we can go into my computer and we can look at that. We can see everything that's in there now. Okay. We got a lot of junk in there. All right. Um. So that's how that works. Now to get your full screen working. All right. So you will go to. Yeah, go to my computer, which we are already in, and then click on this virtual box and you'll open that up and you'll go to next and you just go ahead and click next on this now here see this uh, virtual box guest editions thing you click that and you go to install and after that Uh, click continue anyway on all this junk and you can
can do a reboot now and then when you come back it will be you will be able to get to full screen if it doesn't automatically go to full screen you can click um, you can press the uh, right control button and F and that's that means host key the the host key that they talk about is the control button on the right side and then the letter F okay uh, I believe that's it for everything about VirtualBox at this point. Um, hope uh, hope this helped. All right.